how are you doing? I'm back with new hair, coloured hair, which is great, what a relief. Any other blondes out there, or anyone who needs their hair coloured, whether you're covering up grey or adding a few little copper lights, it's always nice to get your hair done. And I've, my, my hairdresser's convinced me to have little cuts every time I come, just to try and keep my hair a little bit stronger. So, so we're going for that. Um, thank you so much for all your lovely comments. Um, my son is there in the US, he's settled, it's a huge adventure for us both and it was um, very much bittersweet as I'm sure you can imagine and um, hence why I thought for today's makeup video, I mean I'm a little bit frog-like aren't I? Few tears been shared over the last week um, and like many of you said it is sort of like a grief isn't it? So I just have to go through the process and um, yeah and uh, come out the other side. So I thought I'm going to do like my best quick eye if I just think oh gosh I just need to put some eyes on. This is what I do and it's super quick. But I was going to do some really great budget skincare so I thought I'd just do both. That time of year you want to save a few pennies. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today amongst other things as well I've got to tell you which is great. Um, right so I'll talk about a nighttime regime and I'm going to go back to Dermatica. Um, this is how you receive Dermatica. Dermatica is an online dermatology skincare regime bespoke to you, allowing you to have ingredients from their dermatology teams for your skin issues, whether that's melasma, acne, hyperpigmentation, any aging issues. You take the photographs, you send them to the team and they give you um, your bespoke treatment and um, I have spoken about this before quite recently actually but I just think it's such a bargain that I have with them I've been using Dermatica and recommending it to friends oh by the way it's a hundred percent biodegradable and compostable all made from plants and in 12 six or 12 months it literally just disappears so that's wonderful recyclable box and then you get your airtight which is very important um, product um, every 28 days and you'll get an email saying how's your skin feeling what do you you know how, do you see any benefits do you want to be a little bit stronger do you want to be a little bit weaker and then you can converse with them over the computer about what you want and it's just such a simple simple method wait for the air to come out of the pump and then most of the creams look this kind of similar texture and uh, you rub it on your face and might go to sleep sometimes I put a little bit of moisturizer over the top if it's a little bit dry um, but it has made an amazing difference to my skin in terms of the brightness, the smoothness and the softness. It's helped with pigmentation definitely as in terms of it's lightened it slightly, it hasn't removed it. Um, but it definitely, definitely has helped. Um, I think with any sort of deep pigmentation which I have then you have to kind of work um, with a, um, a laser as well as creams but these definitely help especially with the one in the front of my face it sort of slightly diminished it anyway so if you use if you go to Dermatica I've got the links below for the first month it's £2.90 and then after that um, it's £19.99 minus 10% and then after that it's £20 a month so it's a fiver a week um, so if you're suffering and struggling with um, skincare that you're buying over the counter and you can't afford to see a dermatologist which is ridiculously expensive, especially in the UK, I'm not sure anywhere else, um, then I 100% recommend it. If you know me, I recommend it to everybody. <laughs> it's just so great. So I wanted to say that first um, and any questions below, please let's have a chat if you're kind of curious about it, but it is very self-explanatory when you go to the website, as long as you can take a picture of yourself and when you do take the picture of your skin, make sure it's in daylight, don't light yourself, look towards um, a window so that when they go in close they can really see the quality of your skin. Um, so yeah, be aware of that, no overhead lighting, daylight straight on, um, don't worry about how you look, just get that kind of really clean image of your skin so that you can get the best diagnosis I suppose. So that's what I do at night and these two products, both actually from La Roche-Posay, is what I combine with my Dermatica. Um, and I use this in the morning and sometimes throughout the day if I've maybe overdone it, which I've learnt not to. I did in the beginning because it was so good. I was like, more, more. And I was like, no, every other day is better, Caroline. Um, so it's the Cicaplast. And if you've known me for a long time, you know that I love the Cicaplast um, uh, lip balm. Um, but this is so good. A friend of mine's um, daughter is on Roaccutane and this has been absolutely brilliant 
two or three times daily during the day um, and this in the morning and night for her and it's just ultra calming ultra soothing ultra hydrating with nothing in it that's going to irritate your skin and I think in January well especially in the UK um, it's it's what we need hydration and calmness um, so it's a really really great combination if you tend to get irritated and both of these products are just or all three of the products Damascus and La Roche-Posay are just such brilliant affordable products that will really make a difference to the quality of your skin and that's what I try on this channel very much to do is kind of spread honest information about things that work anyway so that's my skincare for today but I just I was gonna I might put some fake tan on for next week I just literally look grey so okay I'm not grey lots of hydration in my skin so I'm gonna use a double um, a double stick skin um, combo so a little bit of max factor and a little bit of rimmel just trying to be aware of getting good skin at a great price um, so I'm gonna go in with a multitasker now you can see that this is actually quite yellow for my skin um, but it's 060 and it is probably a little dark but because it's nice and yellow it's just going to give me a little bit of warmth and take that sort of blueiness out of my skin which um, drives me mad, well it doesn't drive me mad, I mean it's you know what you expect at this time of year isn't it but I'm a little tired, a little jet lagged and I just want a little bit of boost into my skin so it's kind of almost acting as kind of a little bit of um fake tan just a little dappling of sunlight just to kind of warm my face up but obviously remember to take it well into the hairline um, and down your neck I mean it's instant isn't it it's a medium medium coverage it goes on well and it's a matte finish so it's not shiny I'm going to add a little bit of shine on um, in a moment but a little bit more on my cheeks obviously I haven't done my t-zone yet I'll go in with a lighter colour maybe a little bit more around my nose and then I'll use the lighter colour around my eyes this is a really lovely brush from um, Clay de Poe not um, for a budget category at all but um, I use this in my pro kit but the reason I've chosen this for this film is that this particular one if you do like spending money on a brush um, is really firm and so when you're using um, a concealer found is it concealer that's a mul it is a mul yeah, it's called a multitask concealer and she says putting it all over her face but because I want a bit of coverage and I want it to last um, the concealer or the depth of the concealer coverage with a nice firm brush allows you to get the product on without like overloading the skin and looking too heavy at least it doesn't look heavy for me here I hope it doesn't look too heavy for you um, so let's go in now with a slightly lighter more hydrating texture so this is the Miracle Pure from Matte's Factor and this is 01 and this has got lots of hyaluronic in so much more hydrating because otherwise if I put the Rimmel Multitasker around my eyes it would just literally kind of like cinch my skin together and I would automatically just sort of look my skin would look automatically much older so I'm going to buff that into there and then just lightly across the lids I'm not going to put that whole texture on my lids I'm putting it underneath because that's where I want most of the coverage and then just buffing the remains onto the lid and under the eyebrow because I don't want that to have so much product that it moves so when I put the eyeshadow on I then end up having sort of like a different colour a lighter colour than I actually wanted because I'm actually going to draw on some <laughs> give myself some eye shape um, I don't want that to happen so just be aware of that as you can see I've changed the brush application so I've got a much softer fluffier brush um, this is a real techniques one um, and this then with a lighter softer texture doesn't uh, remove the product too much if I blended with this firm brush I would just take most of it off and then you're just wasting the product so again a nice light and I'm very very delicate as I'm dancing this brush around my eyes um, so you might want to go in with a little bit more but I think I'm happy with that maybe just a little bit more in the corners just here where it's more sort of bluey grey um, and the rest of my face I think I'm just going to keep as is now do you love my blue nails um, I know well you know that I talked about my friend who does the colour the colour code we're in process of actually 
getting a date together and she wore this beautiful blue top. I think she did it as a kind of antidote to Blue Monday, like let's not be blue, let's just celebrate blue. And the way she talked about the colour blue is like really excited me. She talks about colour in such an emotional way and I sort of see colour as definitely is an emotional thing as you know it, it affects me it makes me feel good but I've never really felt like that about clothes if I like it I put it on if it maybe it's a colour that's kind of of the moment I like to wear it or sometimes I feel I want to be beige or I want to be bright um, but she really talked about blue as being kind of the colour that you would wear if you wanted to be very centred very focused maybe you were going into a meeting you wanted to convey an air of authority and she kept on talking, honestly, it was like sort of hypnotism, it was wonderful. Anyway, I don't have anything this colour, it's quite an 80s colour as in terms of clothes, right? She buys lots of vintage pieces and it's quite a nice tip, I thought, to go in and, um, if you're thrift shopping, just kind of search for colours that, that might work for you. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Um, right, so I'm going to keep that as my skin. And then um, Ilia, which is a really beautiful natural brand has this um, gorgeous cheek palette, which I actually took away with me and really love to use because I suppose just because of my job, I really do like to mix the colors together, but they've got these um, really nice blushes that are very sheer, but give this really kind of like glassy finish. And because my eye is gonna be strong, just mix that and make it go a little bit more nudie, because my eye is gonna be a little bit stronger, I don't wanna have too much of a blush, but I need to kind of soften and add a little bit of warmth. And then they've got the nice kind of like sheer, that's got a nice sort of like bronzy tint. I mean, very glass, very, very sheer. And this is slightly lighter, better for a paler skin. But um, I really like the combination of these colors together. Again, I'm just applying it with my finger. Um, they're, they're very light and very delicate. Um, so I don't really want to go in with a, and also because the, um, what do you call them? Little troughs, not called troughs, are they? They're mouldings, they're, ah, mouldings, whatever they're called, the sections of where you put the blush. I think there's much more of a professional technical term for that. Just keep adding a little bit of peach. That's quite, that's quite a bit nudie. Because it's small, if I put a little brush in there, I'm end up gonna making a mess. So I do like to use my fingers to kind of blend everything in. So I'll go in with a slightly darker color, just, Mm, that is too bronzy. I really am that pale. I'm forgetting how pale I am. Let's just bring that down and blend in with a lighter colour because I just want, oh that's it, just a nice bit of light. That just gives me a nice little bit of warmth actually. Better match up the other side. I love the way that when you comment you're like, oh no, why is she doing that? And you're like, oh that works. I love the fact that you're really kind of like following me with the makeup <laughs> in a good and bad way. Let's just lighten that bit up there. And I might put that lighter the lighter sheen just underneath the brow there, just sort of to catch the light. Yep, that's nice and subtle. Very nice. They do a really beautiful skin tint as well, which I think I've mentioned in a previous film, like my favourite very sheer bases. If you'd like a favourite section, like actually, can we just have an update of like favourite concealers, favourite foundations, and maybe I can do that as well if that's helpful. Right, going in with the brows, I'm just going to be using this from Blink um, Brow Bar, London-based um, brow company, and it's got this really lovely soft brush that um, I like for my brows. Super happy with them. Hardly need to do anything, just a little bit. I said to Miriam, who did them, I said, I want brows that look nice with no makeup. And then if I choose to have like a stronger brow, then I can build that up, but I want it to look natural when I sort of wake up in the morning, because, you know, often I don't wear makeup. Um, so I don't want them to look all dressed up against a bare face, especially as my face is a lot softer now. I think I probably mentioned that. Not that my face is softer now. <laughs> I've mentioned the fact that I don't want a strong, dark brow against um, a slightly older face. Thank you for all the lovely birthday messages. Can have little celebrations all year round, I think, so keep them coming. It's been a, a frantic start to January. Good, okay, that colour is Indian chocolate. Indian chocolate. Right, so what do I do when I go to a... God, I need some eyes. I need some eyes. Kiko number six. I'm sure loads of you have this. I love it. It is so good, it is an absolute classic, it's six quid. 
um, and I'm going to really push it into the lashes and go all the way, literally equally, all the way right to the edge there. And then I look into the mirror, I'm just going to move my mirror just slightly round and I just make sure that I'm going slightly above, well oh, see look it goes really bumpy in the creases, slightly above my um, socket so that when I blend it with my finger, just literally the warmth of your finger, almost not like a windscreen wiper action, just sort of just pushing the edge of that colour because I don't want it to kind of disappear, I want to have that depth, I mean look, look already, I mean that's just great right and it's just no fuss is there with cream stick eyeshadows but I just like the sort of slight metallic feel to this, I like the fact that it is literally so easy and it throws my eyes straight back, gets rid of the hood um, and it doesn't feel like it's um, sticking my skin together. I find that a lot of cream eyeshadows when you put them on they go oh and you feel like your skin's going oh, oh, oh talking to people. For this particular look I'm actually going to use this right inside my eye as well. Um, so I'm going right inside and drawing it right along the roots of the lashes. Now what I love is that you get like a nice sort of hint of gold um, from the metallic that really picks up on the highlight. So I didn't want it to be too dark because then it just looks a bit dark and then you're sort of like always tidying up underneath your eyes. Oh my god, I must say, obviously lots of tears of joy and sadness and everything. Trans it's a transition isn't it? We're turning the pages of the new chapter in our family life. The um, Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. This was amazing. I mean, I just went home back to my hotel and then I was like, oh, looks great. Um, but I just don't get the lift from the top lashes, so I'm going to put that on my under lashes, lower lashes. Anyway, I'm still doing my eyeshadow. Just make sure that you take that little bit of um, foundation off if it has moved. But isn't it good? Let me just, do you know, oh, what have I done here? God, I smudged it. I'm going to do one eye. Is that brow pencil or is that eyeshadow? Who knows? I'm sure you would have seen me when I did it. Luckily, I saw it. So I look a little bit professional. Right, I'm just going to do this one eye um, and then show you the other side. Just the, It is so quick and easy if you get the right tools. And what I love about Unlocked um, is that it's like, they call it like a lash extension mascara, but it is a tubing mascara. And I'm not really sure why they don't really um, advertise it as such as equally as how much it lengthens your lashes but for me I mean I, I, I do curl my lashes not often um, just because I really can't be bothered and mostly if I've got a good mascara like pillow talk or something that's fact to masterpiece max poof they kind of behave themselves um, so it's just a step I don't necessarily have to do um, but with this one and most tubing mascaras to be fair I don't really get that lift so I thought I'd go in with a little bit of Velvet Uber Volume Boost from the brilliant Beauty Pie um, for the top um, because, oh no, that's brown. No, I don't want brown. Let me go and get a black one. One second. I just found the mascara and then I forgot to press record. Anyway, I've put the black mascara on now. I mean, what a difference and how easy. Easy when you know how, hey? So I've put the black mascara on, but I'll do it on the other side real time um, so you can see what I've done. And just make sure that you don't have any excess. God, look at the difference. Look at the difference. And it really isn't technical at all. So Lich, the most important thing when you're using the cream eyeshadow is that you really kind of wedge the colour into the lash lines. So that when you put the mascara on, you've got that shape around your eyes. But it's just this lovely kind of texture. It's not too dark, it's not too dry, it's got a slight sheen to it. Make sure you look in the mirror when you do it to make sure that you just run that cream eyeshadow just over your lid so that when you blend it, it goes back enough. Because if you don't, if you only focus it on your lid, what happens then is that um, you make your eyes smaller so and sort of more piggy um, in the way that eyes look smaller. Um, so you just don't, don't want to think that was offending pigs then. I mean, <laughs> you've got to be careful these days, haven't you? Sorry pigs, I didn't mean that. But you guys know what I mean, I'm a frog, I'm a pig, it's all sorts, all sorts of um, animal references and compliments or not um, today about makeup, who would have thought? 
Right, so there you are, you see how it just softens and that just makes the surface area of your eye bigger, but if you concentrate it on the lid, you will then make your eye look smaller because you're just throwing it back, but you're not opening it. So again, just very softly, and this works for all eye shapes, and even if you've got a hooded eye, it's a really great way by putting colour in your um, lower lash, in your lower waterline to really kind of extend it out um, and to bring, you need to have good shaped brow and the colour underneath to really open out a hooded eye and whatever colour you use just do that. Right so let's go in now with unlocked using the tip backwards and forwards because I really want to lay those lash extensions down, elongate my I elongate my lashes to make my eye look so much bigger and you've seen the comparison now you see how it works um, but it literally if you're struggling with a mascara that always falls down and tubing mascara sorry bleeds underneath um, tubing mascara is just the way forward once once you realize um, how good it is you, you just can't go back so it's double mascara girls what we want is a tubing mascara in one end and really lifting volumizing in the other aha that's what we want so let's go in with the beauty pie, make sure we're using the black. Yep, okay. I just think makeup makes such a difference to how we look at ourselves, feel about ourselves, um, and it doesn't have to be technical, it doesn't have to be fiddly, it doesn't have to take time. And hopefully on this channel I introduced you products that I use, tried and tested and love um, to make this process kind of easier for you and kind of more of a fun thing to do rather than just like a chore like oh, I've got to do my makeup. I mean sometimes we all feel like that right? Sometimes you think oh come on this old face again let's get into action but it's a bit like ironing your clothes or polishing your shoes. Not that many of us polish our shoes anymore. I'm trying to teach my boys I've got a polishing shoe kit and dad's like right you've got to polish your shoes or I don't really polish them kind of ink them up with a sponge but yeah I was realizing that I hadn't really taught them to do that very much just a bit of a wipe down isn't enough okay so happy with that <clears throat> my tendency was then to look at my face and think actually I think I need a bit more blush but I don't want to do that I'm going to put the lip on first this is a really lovely shade called chic pink from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to match it with um, Diego de la Palma uh, lip liner in 41. Uh, it's a really nice nude and because it is nudey I really want to pull out my top lip because with the bright colours I can kind of get away with you know not having a balanced lip um, but with the nudier colours I feel that my lips need a little bit more shape. always has to stretch them over your teeth so that you get the colour and the kind of waxiness of the liner into all the nooks and crannies. Whereas if you do it like that and you've got bobbly, bobbly, bumpy lips like me, then you won't have a smooth line. had these lip liners a while and I'm very good at keeping the top on. Oh, what a good girl. <coughs> very good at putting the lid on because any lip liner dries out if you don't, but um, these are really nice. Marks and Spencers, I think you get them from Diego de la Palma. Oh, look at this lovely packaging from the Tilbury. Very nice. This is the Kissing Range. Um, so glamorous. Uh, and these shades are uh, slightly more hydrating. Mm. Goes well with the lip liner, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking now, don't you? It's got to be done. As soon as you put the lip on, it drains the cheeks even more. And just matching that colour, it's very, very similar to the colour in the... Um, Ilia cheek that just gives that's a bit Aunt Sally just gives a little oh have I ever done it oh bugger have I ever done it let's blend that out and let's see 
And if you do get to this stage, see I've gone too dolly now. Right, let's go in with the Max Factor Hyaluronic and just clean up this area here. Just too much blush and it ends up just looking a bit too much makeup. It's meant to be sort of more understated and just all about the eyes and feeling more awake. So let's just stick with the Ilia as we should have done. I'm just going to circle that there with a light brush and because of such a lovely hydrating concealer mix that together I should kind of go back to where I was before without it looking too heavy let's just put a little bit of that back in again I went with a slightly more nudie one and blend that in there we are back to scratch well you've got to try these things haven't you and I think with the denim and the time of year and how I'm feeling, I didn't want bright cheeks. But the other day, as you know, I was like, all about the cheeks. Isn't it funny? Great. Okay, so that is my... Yeah, I was going to say anti-frog. No, this is the look. A really affordable look um, that I love to wear myself when I'm just not feeling 100% and I want to chuck an eye on and I want to just put a little bit more of a spring in my step not to feel that I'm too made up, but just to kind of feel a bit more put together. Um, anyway, maybe that's too much information, I don't know. But um, I look forward to hearing what you've got to say. As always, I hope these um, skincare and makeup tips have been really beneficial. And I love your comments. So please leave something for me and um, I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for all your love. Bye for now.